Regan Slaymaker for International Boxing News. And I have the pleasure to be joined by Commonwealth Games silver medalist Taylor Bevan. Taylor, how are you today, mate? I'm doing very well, thanks. How are you? All good, mate. All the better for talking to you ahead of your matchroom debut next week, mate. Looking forward to being in the arena myself. But um, before we get into that, I do want to discuss your kind of your amateur pedigree, if you don't mind. Obviously, Yeah. you mentioned the Commonwealth Games silver, multiple gold medals, representing Team GB and and Wales as well. I mean, when I speak to uh, amateurs turning over, obviously some of these tournaments they're very back to back. You don't have time to kind of process the the wins that you have. I mean, but have you, have you had time to reflect on the the achievements that you did get in the amateurs? Um, yeah, I think I have. Um, the whole lot of my amateur crew was definitely called Wealth Games. Um, spent, uh, definitely enjoyed myself after that experience and reflected on that a lot. Um, but the smaller tournaments, like you say, they are very back to back, and um, you probably don't appreciate as much at the time of what, what you're achieving. But uh, since coming off the GB program, I, I have reflected on what I've achieved, and um, I'm, I'm happy with my amateur career and. Um, everything I've done so far. Definitely, mate, as well. that I was going to ask kind of what the standout moment was, but you mentioned the Commonwealth Games. I mean, I'm going to change the, outside of the Commonwealth Games, which is such a massive achievement for yourself. What would you, is there, is there another moment that kind of that stands out to you in your amateur career? Um, there's a few really more sort of the standard of the boxes that I've boxed and beaten. Um, like I've boxed some world champions and beating them from America, but beating a good a top fighter from Cuba. Um, it's probably those individual performances that stand out the most. Um, just these, these little small hall tournaments, um, you never know who you can draw, and I've just I've had some good wins at those. So it'd probably be yeah, beating an American, beating a Cuban, beating a Brazilian. Um, th those are the, probably the standout moments aside from the Commonwealth Games. Definitely, mate, as well. And obviously, it's all kind of culminated into kind of unlocking your promotional deal with Ernie Hearn and Matcher and Boxing. I mean, talk Yeah. to me kind of what was it like to finally put pen to paper and secure that deal for yourself? Yeah, it's a dream come true for me, signing a match room. Um, I couldn't be starting off my pro career in better hands and um, it's such a great platform to box on. I'm hoping to um, take my time in the pros and uh, build my profile um, and then start winning some titles. I think match room is definitely the place for me to do that. Definitely, mate, as well. And obviously, couldn't ask for a better platform, but I don't think you could ask for a better show to kind of start your career on. Obviously, Edwards, Edwards Yaffi, I mean, kicking everything off on a, on, a, on a massive bill for yourself as well. Yeah, definitely. Um, such a good fight to uh, top the bill. Um, and then there's good undercard fights as well. And Callum Smith has just been added to uh, the undercard, which it was a good show even before he was added. And now it's, uh, it's brilliant. Definitely, mate. I was talking to Connor Walker yesterday, and he was kind. He was kind of a bit, I don't know, a bit buzzing to be to be perfectly honest. To have a former world champion like Callum Smith, obviously box Canelo on the card. I mean, was it a bit? Was it a bit more more exciting to know that you're sharing a card with? I mean, one of the greatest world champions, kind of this country's produced, anyway. Yeah, definitely. Hopefully get the chance to meet him when I'm there. And um yeah, so he's just he tops off an even better card now. Um he's someone that I I enjoy watching myself and hopefully better see him perform in person when I'm there on the night. So um yeah, it, it makes the makes it even better. Definitely, mate. I'm sure you'll have a front row seat to that one as well, mate. I mean, for those for those that kind of didn't watch you in the amateurs, Taylor, kind of what can people expect watching you live on the zone and in the arena next week? Um, I've got an aggressive style, um, carry a bit of power, fast hands, good footwork, um, technically pretty decent as well. Um, just got an exciting style, basically. Um, on the GB squad, they got the uh, yearly awards, and for the two years I was up there, I won the uh, best bout of the year. <laughs> Although it's, it's, it's not good to be in uh, exciting fights, you want to be in... Comfortable fights, don't you? Because it means you've dominated your opponent. But um, I won that two years on the trot. So I've definitely been in exciting fights, even as an amateur.
I mean, definitely. I, I think I, I get not worried for you guys, but when, when you're in great scraps, we like watching them, but God, I feel for you guys afterwards because I think the headache's a bit sore, a bit sore in the morning, mate. But, I think um, that, that's part, part of the reason I think it's a good time to turn over because I was in a lot of exciting fights as an amateur. And it doesn't they don't really get the recognition when you're still amateur, but um, yeah, the Commonwealth Games obviously had that very exciting fight of Aaron Bowen in the semi finals, and um, I've had other fights like that as well. And I think when, now that I'm pro, um, I get a bit of publicity from that, and people will start appreciating. Um, how exciting my style is definitely i don't want to don't want, uh, forgive me if someone's already asked you this taylor but obviously aaron, aaron is on the card today i've been i've doing some research you've been doing some sparring with him have those have those spars been just as exciting as as the fights that you had yeah they've been very similar um <laughs> we've obviously both improved a little bit since then and um i'd say they're a little bit more technical than what the fights were cuz we sparred sort of 18 rounds over two weeks so um it would take a lot out of you if you just tried in every 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 round but that was the odd moment where we just didn't uh, <laughs> had to go again but for for old time's sake <laughs> <laughs> well next the next time that happens mate make sure to invite me down i'd like i'd like to see the, uh, those rounds i do want to touch on your training team as well colin jones sean mcgoldrick i mean Two people who know what it's like to win titles as professional boxers now guiding you as a part of your training team. It must be nice to have not only kind of good good trainers, but also good fighters in your corner now. Yeah, it's a team I've got a lot of confidence in. Um, Colin obviously did it back in the day when he was boxing. Um, and Sean's only just come out of the pro game. So um, he, he sort of clued up on the more modern uh, news in boxing and Colin's just got great foundations and that old school work ethic and mentality. So um, it's the best of both worlds, really. And yeah, I've just got massive confidence in them and this made the transition even smoother for me because it's a familiar team and uh, one I've got yeah full confidence, confidence in. Definitely. Mate. What would you say, kind of the one bit of advice that kind of they've been they've been giving you, kind of in the in the lead up to the pros? Have they been giving you kind of any specific advice that you that for you to take on? Um, not specifically for my debut, but it's more for me dealing with the training camp. There's obviously highs and lows of training camp when you're preparing for eight weeks. Um, in the amateur, just you have to stay on it all year round. So you don't really have the the peaks and troughs of training, but um, just my mentality during training camp, short, um, just getting me through that basically. And no matter how you feel, giving a hundred percent and um, having faith and trust in the process that as you ease the training down on fight night, you're going to be flying then and, I'm starting to feel like that now as as the trend is sort of taping off a little bit. Definitely, mate, as well. Well, we look forward to seeing the 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 final outcome on fight night next week as well, mate. My final one, Taylor, thank you for giving me your time today, mate. We ask everyone who comes on the channel this, when all said and done, what does boxing mean to you? Um, it's been my whole life since I started. I've uh, sacrificed a lot for this and um, the people around me have sacrificed a lot. Um... I put my heart and soul into boxing and yeah, it, it, it's my whole life. It, it's everything to me. Definitely. And I'm sure it'll all pay off, pay off in the end, Taylor. So thank you very much for your time today, mate. And see you in the arena next week. Yeah. Thanks for having me on.